Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and I am shocked that this is the first time now officially Pegboard Nerds and Boss Fight have collaborated on a track. It feels like really the two biggest titans on Monster Cat, I would say, obviously there's a couple other artists that could be like up there for the one too, but in terms of um, amount of releases on Monster Cat and the amount of just being loved by the community and the amount of time that they've been on the label, uh, these two are definitely up there in terms of the all-time great Monster Cat artists. So uh, I am very, very excited for this. Power Play is out now uh, by Pigboard Nerds and Boss Fight. And uh, let's, uh, you know what, let's just hop into it. I'm excited for it. So I want to just get into things right away. So uh, very intrigued to see how this is going to go. I don't even know the genre. I don't even know anything about this track. Uh, let's hop into it. Fun grand opening so far. One long dropper on this. It's a long build for three and a half minutes on. Okay, so dubstep. Oh, that's fun. Okay, tons of energy. I love that that's too easy. We'll talk about that after. That was funny. Okay, bring it down. Wow. Okay. Power play. Pegwar nerds and boss fight. Um, okay. First of all, I need to stay up there off the bat. Um, does this album art not look like Crazy Taxi, or am I am I crazy? Like. It's, it's a kind of a yellow car and the, the font kind of looks like Crazy Taxi from what I can remember. There's a little bit of like kind of flames and there's flames on the side of the car. Like, the, am I, does this look like Crazy Taxi? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm gonna put up two different photos of those right now and you'll see if I'm crazy. Cause I can't even tell right now cause I don't remember. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the track is great, big fan. Um, I'm, all, I'm historically, 
Not the hugest fan of the more hard-hitting dubstep in your face style, but I think this did a great job of blending either, especially the two sounds of Pegboard Nerds and Boss Fight. You can clearly tell the different sections of where is more of a Pegboard Nerds inspired sound versus a more Boss Fight inspired. And I really, really, really liked the, uh, what, what did they say? Um, uh, that's too easy. That's too easy. Uh, after the first drop, it was the very, it was a very Pegboard Nerd centric first drop. And then the little voice, kind of a little more subtle, just went, that's too easy. And then Boss Fight comes in and like, destroys it on the back end. It's a little bit of a meta commentary, I feel like, for Pegor nerds nowadays where uh, their stuff isn't as hard hitting, I think, than it's been in the past. Um, it's just the style of where the music has, has gone more so nowadays. But uh, Boss Fight is that kind of really abrasive, really hard mechanica, uh, mechanized sound. And I think just that little bit of a little note was actually quite funny meta commentary, I think, on the track as a whole. And yeah, I think just brought a lot of energy and kind of a playful nature to the track and something that I thoroughly enjoyed and I thought was a fun little, it's not an Easter egg, but just like a little uh, little note, a little fun little uh, uh, asterisk, I guess. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying with that, but um, fun track. Yeah, uh, I think in terms of where I like this with other things, this feels like a more toned down boss fight track as it as one would uh, because it's got pick winners doesn't quite do that, that very, very in your face sound anymore, but I really liked it because I'm not a huge fan of that really <laughs> insane sound, and I think uh, I think this is a good blending of the two. I would have again. This is part of me just being a uh, a fan of both and a fan of everything all here. Monster Cat, Boss Fight, Pegboard Nerds. That I would have wished a, a collaboration like this maybe would have been a little bit more epic, a little bit a little more grand. Maybe save it for uh, an anniversary of some sorts or something like that, and just make it a bigger, bigger track. This feels like a this feels like what I would believe to be like a second track between these two, a, a, a follow-up to something else previously beforehand um, that was, is a little more expansive or a little bit more, I don't know, drawn out. But that's just me I, idealistically being like, I obviously don't, I can't control anything. But as a, a fan of it all, I want everything to be the best. I want it to all be epic. And that's just, yeah. So that's my mini, uh, I don't know, what wished for what I think this hopefully could have been. And obviously, if you've been around the channel for some time, you know that I love longer songs. I'm a, I'm a huge proponent um, and advocate for longer tracks. I want longer tracks. And um, not that this one is too short at three and a half minutes. That's that's pretty average for nowadays. But I just, I feel like these two could, these two have done longer tracks. These two have definitely done longer tracks. And we know that. We know that historically. And I would have liked to see them maybe explore a little bit more. But maybe we'll see more in the future. Who knows? Uh, may, hopefully this is the first of a couple or way more releases to come down the line between these two. Or I guess these three, technically, these two artists. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below of this brand new track, Power Play. What did you think? Pegboard Nerds and Boss Fight. I'd love to hear any and all comments in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.